Welcome to MusicMoveIt.com. My name is Torio, and today I want to discuss Apple is closing down iTunes. Yes, before we get into this, though, I want to remind y'all that there is an ebook about creating a music business plan that can tremendously help you stay focused and on track for when releasing your music. You could download it for free at musicbusinessplans.com. Go check it out and download it for free today. So, yes, Apple has pretty much said that it is shutting down iTunes. After nearly 18 years, it is done, gonna be done. Downloads, done. They're saying it's the end of an era of downloading music. Well, what does that mean for you? It just pretty much, for me, sticks in my brain that streaming is the way. Streaming is the way for us to make our money now. So, honestly, I gotta say, I haven't downloaded a song or album in years. I haven't bought a CD in years. I have Spotify. I pay a cheap fee, monthly fee, for my family to use. And I just stream whatever the hell I want. It's much more convenient. I don't have to download songs. And on Spotify, you can download them. Just quickly, you click a little button slider thing and it'll download to your phone. And you could listen to them without Wi-Fi. So why even bother with services like iTunes anymore when you could just stream whatever you want? And that's a good thing. What does this mean though for artists and bands. It means to start promoting the hell out of your music for streaming. So get one of them links that I talked about before where people click on a link. It's like a smart smart links or smart URL or something like that. Click it. It'll go to a splash page type situation with your album cover and links to every streaming place where they can hear your music. And that's the best way to promote it. And of course, through social media and all that other good stuff. So tell your fans, tell your family, tell whoever. When your album comes out, say, check out the album, stream it, listen to it once a day, because this is what is deciding what is popular now, streams. And of course, there are fake streams out there and all that, but they're trying to really crunch down on that. But of course, there still are album sales, like CD sales and all that good stuff. But streaming is where everything is going right now. It's where it's at. Face it, this is how it is. So you gotta keep that in mind. Put it into your plan to really promote the hell out of your streaming music. Whether it be on Spotify, Apple Music, which is their streaming side, you know, Pandora, all that good stuff. Promote it. Tell people to listen. Listen every day. <laughs> listen every hour. Because this, these are how the charts are now being compiled besides CD sales, streaming. And I've done videos about streaming and how many streams you need to go platinum and all that stuff. So you just got to keep this in your mind and realize this is it. So from now on, your electronic press kits and all the other good stuff, focus on the streaming sites. When, when, it, when you say my music is available, boom. And if you think about it, it's so simple for anyone, as long as they have the service. But most people have streaming services now. They just buy. And you could some of them you could even listen for free but with commercials but it's so simple for someone to just to be like oh okay click a link instantly hear your album every song they don't have to you know on itunes you can listen to like 30 seconds of a song and then you'd be forced to download it pretty much not anymore go to the song listen they can listen as many times as they want if they're paying for the service there's no ads it's just an amazing thing it's kind of crazy to think do you think the cd era will ever die out i doubt it because you think about a vinyl still selling, sometimes cassettes are still selling. Some groups and indie bands are putting out cassettes of their music because they have a fan base for it and they buy it. So I don't think the CD will ever die. You know, people still sell CDs at shows, things like that. Or as I said before, people also put their music on USB drives, those thumb drives. And they sell them like that because there's USB drives in every car now pretty much. So you just go to the car, plug it in, things like that. It's just amazing. So now streaming is where you need to focus and touring. Touring will bring you fans. Once you get big enough with a huge fan base, touring will bring you money. You know, once you get paid shows and start selling your merchandise on your website and at shows. So that is the focus. Focus more on these things, touring, streaming, and then selling merch. 
that's the way to go. This is how you make a living. Don't forget about all other avenues as well, but focus pinpoint on this stuff. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, click the subscribe button, hit the bell icon. They'll let you know whenever a new video is out. Check all the old videos, the back catalog that I have of videos. There are tons of important things you can learn, tons of information to help your music career. Look down in the description. There's tons of things also there, links to help you out, knowledge, all that good stuff. Also, Send Me Music Fridays is a show I do every Friday, and you guys can send me a song, and I will do a short review of it. Also, though, the instructions for that is in the description on how to get the song to me. I appreciate you watching, and I will see you next time.